Hey guy, Nerd King 101 here, and for those of you that don't know, sometimes I like to talk about things that are not exactly anime and manga, but are still kind of nerdy. I like to talk sometimes about comic books, or because DC animated movies, the MCU, and things of that nature. I don't do it often, I mainly do reviews of the DC animated movies, and the Marvel Cinematic Universe movies. So that's mainly what I do. I'll talk about actual books every, like, comic books every once in a while. I actually plan on doing something with Tower of Babel eventually in the future. But today, I'm actually here to just do a vlog-style video. Little to no editing because I have a copyright strike at the moment that I'm dealing with from Toei Animation for a One Piece video I released, like, two months ago, so I have to be careful. But today I am talking about the James Gunn situation. Now for those of you that haven't been paying attention, have been busy at work or summer school or studying or whatever, and don't know, James Gunn, the director of Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 1 and Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, was recently fired by Disney for offensive Twitter posts. His tweets on Twitter were very... They're bad. His tweets were bad and Disney had to let him go because they were inconsistent with Disney's values. Now I will link articles and links to everything I talk about in the description box down below as well as a link to my Twitter which you can follow if you want to have updates about my videos and my thoughts on various topics that I'll... and my thoughts on various topics that, that I probably won't talk about on the channel because I can't make a video about everything I want to make a video about. Because I just don't have the time for that. So now, let's talk about these tweets. Now, there's probably over 30 of them, and I had them on my phone. I'm not going to read all of them, but I would like to go over some of them. Just to help you, the people watching that haven't read them, get a better understanding of the situation. Because I know there are people that haven't read all of these, and only read a couple of ones that aren't too too bad, and don't understand why Disney would fire him, and are upset that they fired him over it. But there are a lot of bad gems in here if you look for them. A lot of these I think have been deleted, I think he deleted a lot of these after everything came out. But that's besides the point, they still exist, and we have screenshots of them. Okay, this hotel shower is the weakest ever. Felt like a three-year-old with peeing on my head. Now, I will say a lot of these tweets involve little boys and sometimes young girls. And as I said, it's not just one or two. A lot of these involve little boys and little girls. So it does really make them look like a pedophile and they're really bad. But let's keep reading. Here is another tweet by James Gunn. Video, 100 prepubescent girls touch themselves. Yeah. Just got done looking at some videos that were too disgusting, that were too disgusting and too disturbing to even share. Even I have my limits, time to throw up. I don't even want to know what that means considering the kind of content he probably watches based on his previous tweet. This one I'm about to read is one of the ones I would say really bad. I'm doing a big Hollywood film adaptation of The Giving Tree with a happy ending. The tree grows back and gives the kid a blowjob. <sighs> the, I will say these are all almost a decade old. That's all I will say. And I will be reading his apology later on in the video and giving my thoughts on that. But I want to read a few more of these first to get some concept to how bad it is. Laughter is the best medicine. That's why I laugh at people with AIDS. I mean, these are bad. Wondering which Disneyland character would, get, would be the worst to get raped by. I think it's Goofy, but Sleepy would suck too. Just made a joke about ass raping my friend when she was asleep. Okay, so I just read a ton of these. And let's be honest, that was messed up. 
You can't say things like that. Some of them were pedophilic, and honestly, they're really disgusting and made me really uncomfortable just to read them. I'm a little nervous to put these up on YouTube, but I think it should be fine because I don't monetize my content yet. So I can't really lose anything as far as I'm aware from reporting the facts. If I was a news channel, that would be different, but I'm not. So I don't think I'll lose anything from this. But I mean, these were bad. I don't think you can argue these are bad. I've seen some people try to defend these, and I'm going to be honest. You can have the defense that he should not have been fired. That is fine, as I will go into later, there is some argument there about why Disney should not have fired him. But to defend the statement he made is disgusting and wrong. These jokes are about pedophilia. They're about minors. They're about rape. They're about AIDS. And they're really messed up and they're not funny. There is nothing to be funny about. Now, he had come out and stated it was like humor and he was just being edgy and he was going for shock value. That's not as humor. As humor is like a joke involving the N-word. Like, people that are super edgy sometimes make jokes with the N-word in it. And it's like, you really shouldn't do that, but it's like, it's freedom of speech. Whatever. This isn't edgy, this is just downright disgusting. It's sickening to read him talk about children and little boys and little girls in this matter. He hasn't been outed as a pedophile, but so many of these tweets, which I will link a, a file down below, which an Imgur file, which has like 28 tweets on it. And I would say at maybe over 10 of them, I would say. 10 at the least of them are probably about little boys and little girls. So when you put everything together, it does make a strong case that maybe something going on there. If there was just one edgy joke about a little boy or a little girl, I'd be like, okay, whatever. Bad joke, James. But there's probably about ten of them. And they're consistent in the kind of ways he describes them and the ways he tells the jokes. So I'm thinking it's possible that he's a pedophile. Like, I'm not saying he is. I could be wrong. I'm just some guy on the internet. I have no information besides what I'm reading here. But there's so many tweets involving little boys and little girls. I'm like, he's probably a pedophile. Like, it points, at least to me, I see it pointing in that direction. Now, let's read his apology. Because James Gunn does have the right to have his side of the story heard. Alright, now let's read the apology of James Gunn. Many people who have followed my career know when I started, I viewed myself as a provocator, making movies and telling jokes that were outrageous and taboo. As I have discussed publicly many times, as I've developed as a person, so have my work and my sense of humor. It's not to say I'm better, but I am very, very different than I was a few years ago. Today I try to root my work in love and connection, and less in anger. My days saying something just because it's shocking and trying to get a reaction are over. In the past, I have apologized for humor of mine that hurt people. I truly felt sorry and meant every word of my apologies. For the record, when I made these shocking jokes, I wasn't living them out. I know this is a weird statement to make and seems obvious, but still, here I am saying it. Anyway, that, that's the completely honest truth. I used to make a lot of offensive jokes, but I don't anymore. I don't blame my past self for this, but I like myself more and feel more like a full human being and creator today. Love you all. So Jane Gunn is sorry. Now the question is, what do I think of all of this? Because I presented you with all the facts and given you some of my opinions sprinkled throughout this. So Jane Gunn says he's sorry, and I think he does feel bad about it. It does feel like a genuine apology. It doesn't feel like something some celebrity has somebody typed for them. It does seem genuine. So he apologized. Now the question is, what do I think of this? But first, I want you to go into the comment section down below and tell me what you think of this based on the facts that I have provided in the video for you. Also, everything I have talked about will be linked in the description box down below. 
and you can check it all out for yourself if you want to fact check me. Alright, so what do I think of this? First of all, I want to say I have no problem with James Gunn's work. His directing of Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 1 and 2 is great. I loved both movies tremendously. I had a great time. I thought they were a blast. And I think he's a really good director. And I think his work on those movies is great. Now, having said that, the jokes he made and the things he said on Twitter, regardless of how long ago they were, are inexcusable. He made jokes about children that were sexual in nature, which is pedophilia. That's what it is. It's pedophilia. The things he said are straight up pedophilia, and it's indefensible. You cannot make sexual statements about children. You can't. So, no, I did not like that. So, there's that. And then he makes jokes about rape and about AIDS, which are both very serious topics. And I'm going to be completely honest with you, I don't blame Disney for firing him. I've thought about it a lot, and I've actually gone back and forth. Originally, I was on James Gunn's side. I hadn't read all the tweets. I'd only read a few, and I, and I was like, these are over 10 years old. Who cares? But the more I read and the more disgusting tweets that, that I see from him, I'm like, there's too many. There's too many that point to the direction of him being a pedophile, that him making, and him just making really, really disgusting statements for it to be ignored based on the passage of time. Like, he said these things, and he can't take them back. And honestly, I don't. And as I said, I don't blame Disney for firing him. I probably would have done the same thing. What I find interesting is what they're going to do with Guardians Volume 3. I think they're hopefully, I hope, I hope they use his script for the story. I know he already wrote it. I'm hoping they use it and make an awesome Guardians movie. I know they teased Adam Warlock at the end of Volume 2, which I want to see. And it would be really unfortunate if that plotline got dropped because of the fact that Jane Gunn left. But, also Jane Gunn had been the Guardians of the Galaxy guy. He wrote all their dialogue for Infinity War and things of that nature. He's the Guardian guy. So him not being there could really hurt the film, which is upsetting to me. But as I stated earlier, I'm on Disney's side with this. He did apologize, and it did seem like a real apology to me at least. So there is a chance that as people have talked about that maybe Disney and him will work it out and he'll be able to return and do still direct the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. And honestly, I don't know how I feel about that. I honestly don't really know how comfortable I am with him coming back, but it is somewhat of the possibility. I don't think it's very likely. I think it's actually incredibly unlikely that Disney will do that. But there's always the possibility and we need to be open to them. But yeah, I'm on Disney's side with this. I think they did the right thing. His tweets were disgusting and immoral. They were pedophilic. They were disturbing. And yeah, they, good job on Disney for firing this guy. He's a good director, but he may also be a pedophile. So it's a good thing they fired him. Because we don't want to give the pedophile any money. This may have destroyed a career, but honestly, when you tweet things like that, what can you expect? That's all I really have to say on the matter. I don't really know how to close out this video, because it's the topic of the video is so uncomfortable. So, yeah, I'm just going to end it here. Have a great day, guys. For more Marvel Cinematic Universe content, I don't do videos on news, but I do do these kind of videos every once in a while. Where I talk about the MCU and I do like movie reviews. I have a more MCU video I'm probably going to record in a day or two. That I'm going to have out at some point in the future. But yeah, if you enjoyed the video, leave it a like. Subscribe for more stuff like this. And again, follow me on Twitter. Which is linked in the description box down below. And above all else guys, have a great day.